Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to Charlie Kick debates college students on science versus nature. This should be really interesting and educative, so let's get right to this. Charlie. Hi. So I think this might be more of a point of clarification than a legitimate disagreement. So you started off your um, talk by saying that you oppose science insofar as it stands in the way of nature or it sort of rewrites nature, right? Is that like re an accurate representation of your point? Or? It, it, can, it can cause a lot of damage and not done under the proper moral framework. It's been one of the great killers of, of modern humanity. Obvious with, you know, there's been phenomenal breakthroughs in modern medicine, but continue with your question. So. That was actually my question, actually. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you could take, for example, so let's kind of just go back to how science is administered through things that we take for granted, right? So, for example, Sir Isaac Newton, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. An object at rest will stay at rest. For every action, is equal and opposite reaction, right? He was a phenomenal Christian, wrote a lot about biblical prophecy, and looked at nature as a way to explore God's creation for an intended purpose. And so it's all a question of what is the intent, right? So I'll give you a great example. If the intent is to allow human beings to flourish, then I'm all for it. What's an example of that? How about a cesarean section? What an awesome medical breakthrough over the last hundred years. A cesarean section is, of course, a C-section. Without getting too graphic, it's a way through medical intervention and progress to save human life with that intended purpose. Now, obviously, you know, you have to have an incision. You have to be able to, you know, have the proper, um, have the proper medication so that, you know, the, the woman doesn't feel it. It's the most common medical procedure now done in America today. And so I'm all for scientific breakthroughs and progress. But that's with the intent of saving a human life, right? Properly administered, a C-section is life-giving, right? When you look at other things, there is no life-giving nature to abortion. So you look at two very complex surgical procedures. One's an abortion, one's a cesarean section. Both require a doctor, they require you know, medication, they require breakthroughs, but they have two completely different moral premises. One to give life, and want to take life away. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. And, and, and speaking of abortion, I did have a sort of separate question, sure. if you don't mind. Yeah. So you sort of spoke, you sort of touched on abor abortion from a moral or philosophical standpoint in your talk. Um, from a political or cultural standpoint, how do you see the, the debate playing out in the mid to long term? Um, who, do you, who do you think wins in the long term? That's a smart question. I, I, I've given this advice to conservatives, which is you have to be realistic about it. In certain states, in certain areas, it's not a winning issue. Maybe in a longer period of time, we could do our work and we could persuade people. But if you're trying to get political power or win an election, you've got to be realistic about whether or not you think that is going to win people over. And so some people say, Charlie, you should talk about the issue all the time. Well, then how are you ever going to get political power to actually fix the issue, right? I mean, at some point, you've got to be prudent about this. But I think the left is going to see a surge of support. I think that's going to happen. They're going to see a lot of money come in, a lot more activists. And then I think we as pro-lifers are going to get reorganized see where we have to go, and I think we have to go on a multi-decade, multi-generation tour, campaign, project of getting into the deep mor mor moral and philosophy of it, entertaining questions, doing events. Because here's the one thing I could tell you is that most people that are pro-abortion have really not heard the best defense of life from a moral standpoint, a biological standpoint, and a scientific standpoint. But it's going to be a battle, man. And I think you're going to end up seeing kind of red state, blue state abortion centers across the country where California is poised to make abortion a constitutional right. And you're going to see a lot of that kind of interstate travel and all that kind of stuff. So that's my prediction. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, <clears throat> guys, I still, um, you know, um, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that I never stand or side with, you know, abortion because I feel it's something that shouldn't, you know, be. And then right now that everyone is pushing and you know trying to argue and debate on the whole topic why they should um you know even sign the constitution of abortion i just feel it's a whole lot taking because i i um i look at you know in most times i try to just place facts and not bring in the bible but like um trust me abortion is not like a good thing and i would never advise anybody to go through with it because you you just never can tell i mean no one knows tomorrow is as simple as that but i just feel like they should not sign that in because basically if 
there's something called prevention is better than cure. You prevent, prevent it from happening. That way you don't get to um, get pregnant and, you know, kill the baby. Because I basically see abortion as murder. Trust me, abortion is murder. Let's put it that way. But like, it's not something that someone should go through. So you definitely know that if you have sex, definitely unprotected sex you're going to get pregnant and you are not ready to have that baby you're not ready to train a child you obviously think abortion is the next solution to your problem because you definitely see it as a problem but you could have prevented that from happening so you didn't and now you know it's calm and then you have to go ahead with mother and you know all that thing is just way too much and then you know if they're going to really sign this like to a particular country, you know, everybody's going to be free to do whatsoever they want, and it's also not even healthy for you as a person. But guys, tell me what you think about this. Um, please be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section for you know everyone to go to. Don't forget to also like, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.